here come the two sides away to my left hand side here at the Chickwell Construction Stadium as we welcome Dagenham and Redbridge onto the home of the Daggers for the first time this season accompanying Woking who are the visitors in their first return to the National League coming back at the first attempt for the first time this season in the 2019-2020 season let's give you the team news here on Daggers Player for the Daggers that team in full as we said 10 new faces in that entire squad seven of them starting in goal will be Elliot Justin a new starter is Andrew Eletheriu he'll be at right back with Luke Crowe at left back Manny Onorisi officially joining starts his first games as a full-time player alongside captain Kenny Clark we suspect McQueen will be on the right with new signing Bagasan Graham on the left two new faces in the mid middle of midfield with Mitch Brundle wearing 8 and Harold Odomisi wearing 23 up top is Joe quickly wearing 15 and he will be supported by the ever industrious Angelo Balanta And we are underway here on Daggers Player for the new season, the 1920 season. Will this be Dagenham's season as they look to return to the Football League? They've got new faces, they've got a new shirt. And will it be a new outcome for the Daggers as they look to get themselves up that table? The Queen's going to take it from the far side. Lots of targets to aim up. Free header from Quigley, but it's not directed on target. Took a deflection from a Woking man and Brunder will keep it alive. On the other side, he stands it out towards the far post. Dagenham men coming in, but it's headed clear by a Woking man. And Graham picks it up, tries to run round his man on the outside, can't do so. And uh, Woking survived the first test that Dagenham asked of them. Tarpi and Hyde are both forward, as is Parry and Diara. He whipped in right footed, he's got decent pace. Parry's there, headed back towards goal and a good defensive header by Quickly. Danger's not gone, it's gone in. Woking have scored. It's an awful goal from Dagenham's perspective. It's been bundled over. I think it's Kane Ferdinand who's knocked it in. I couldn't see the scramble. Queen places it with intent. Can we get ourselves back level here? Onorisi is the target. It's chipped out towards Onorisi. It's headed back in towards the centre of the penalty area. It's poorly cleared by Casey. And Dagenham have it back through Harold Odomiti. It goes back to Elatheru. He goes long. Graham getting around the back. Hits it back into a great area. Chance for Dagenham. Good effort by Clark. He tried to open his body with his right foot inside the area. But he got a little bit too much on it. Again, whips in towards the near post. Headed on. Oh, and a chance. It was, was it Parry or Diara? One of the two of them flicked it on at Diara at the near post. Got ahead of his man. Woking, moving the ball around pretty nicely on the edge of Dagenham's area on the right hand side. They force it a little bit. Luke Kroll gets a little bit lucky because the ball bobbles kindly for him and then Balanta gives it away. Pritchmar inside the area could bounce kindly for him and then it doesn't. And Kenny Clark sweeps clear quickly, takes it on his chest, finds McQueen. It goes past him. It's very hit and miss as Dagenham takes too long on the ball. Kenny Clark tried to take a touch, couldn't do so. Hyde on the right hand side. The ball into a good area, could be two, should be two. How they both missed it, there were two men in yellow. Overhits it as well, and it's back with Justin, he spreads it quickly. They've done that pretty well. Uh, when they get up to where McQueen is now, they just look shy on options, and then that's what they do. They go over the top, but it's a brilliant touch from Balanta, in fairness to him, and a reverse pass. Eletheriou is inside the area. Chance for a goal in his debut, perhaps. Goes back to Balanta, good block from Diara. Oh, it was Manny Parry in the end. So, McQueen against Craig Ross to get Dagenham level as we approach half-time. McQueen, right-footed, hits the wall, deflected, oh, and it's over the bar. It was one of those hold your breath moments, is it or isn't it? And on this occasion, it doesn't. But to Onorisu, gets it moving forward down that right-hand side nice and quickly. Options centrally with Brundle. The man wearing eight for Dagenham this year finds Odomiti. Luke Crow has to scamper, it's a bit of a loose pass that from Odomiti. Too many times that's happened as Brundle flicks it around the corner to Quigley. Dagenham spreading the play around nicely for the first time. Balanta's on the edge of the box. Into Brundle, it just overcomplicates it and Dagenham eventually give it away. There's a chance for Woking to break there. Defended well and here's Tarpy breaking down. Clark shows great pace, falls over though. Will he get lucky? He does, no he doesn't, yes he does. Gosh, that was one of those, I didn't know what was happening. It was a long ball downfield. They've squeezed Woking back into their own half. So they're getting the ball back a lot quicker. A long crossfield ball looks to pick out Balanta. It's a wonderful pass in fairness. Will Balanta keep it in play? He will just. 
but Dagnum aren't exactly bombing forward. Eletheri is there on support on the right-hand side. He goes back to Balanza. Brunder wins it, Eletheri inside the area. McQueen with his back to goal, finds Balanza, stands it up towards the far post quickly, hits it down and it's a shot on target, but it's a comfortable save. Tonarisi inside his own half. Last 30 seconds of normal time. I doubt there'll be much added on. Maybe a little tiny bit. And Balanta could get away from his man. Here he is. They're very big. But a cross could be a good chance for Dagenham quickly. Oh! He's put it wide from six yards. That was the chance for the first half. And there is the half-time whistle here at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. Andrew Alatheriu, Justin's in goal. Brundle and uh, Odomiti have been hit and miss in midfield so far. Uh, McQueen and Graham are on the right and the left with Balanza and Quigley leading the line. Quigley, the man who missed that great chance at the end of the first half. And we are back underway with Woking. Ball whips in, it's a decent one towards the far post. Justin comes, headed towards the goal, should be a second. It is, Diara's got a second. Dagenham cannot send set pieces against this tall Woking side. And for the second time today, They've conceded from a set piece. It's Musa Diara who makes it 2 0. Not sending as many of the big men forward. This one goes towards the goal scorer, Diara. Balanta wins it back, but he's a long way from support. Goes outside to Luke, who has got pace, and he's going to test Donald. Now Dagenham are throwing men forward. Look at Dobson moving forward as well with good pace. Luke cuts inside on the right hand side, goes into Balanta inside the area. He thinks about pulling the trigger, tries to cross it. In the end, Ferdinand gets a block in, and it's a corner to Dagenham. Immediately, Luke has an impact. Nine gone, Dagenham seeing time ebbing away, that's better, good pass from Luke to Balanta, who spreads it out to Dobson, Dagenham looking a lot better since they've changed some of the personnel, Dobson's got Eletheru on the right hand side, he goes to him, plenty in the box, decent ball, header, it should be 2-1, it's a diving header from Grant at the near post, Craig Ross, he's got no chance, if it hits the target it's a goal, not fully out of it and they go all the way back to the goalkeeper Elliot Justin, who's inside, or just outside his own penalty to Crop, Brundle inside the centre circle. It's an angled pass out to Quigley. It's a good ball from Brundle and a good touch as well from Quigley. He's got Dobson in support. Can he get a shot off? Here's a good area to shoot from. He cuts on his left foot. Finds, I can't see, Balanta who stands it up towards the far post. Quigley, there, there's a good defensive header from the goal scorer, Diara, showing he's useful in both ends of the box there with his head. He goes up to the feet of Quigley. He just needs to hold it. He goes out to Dobson instead on the right-hand side. He looks like a very right, uh, left-footed player, Dobson. Stands the ball up to the far post where Luque is there. It's headed clear by L Woking and Balanza picks it up. It goes back to Luque. Kroll comes forward to get involved as well. Luque goes in field to Balanza. Shooting opportunity maybe. He goes to Quigley. Tries to exchange passes. They're just overcomplicating a little bit, Dagenham here. There's so many men in that box. They're going to have to absolutely thread the needle if they're going to get through there with that kind of passing. And a chance here. It could be all over. Chance for Mate. Great defending by Kenny Clark. Good change of passing with Balanta and Brundle. Brundle centrally. Left footed shot strikes. It's a good strike. And Reese Grant follows it in to Craig Ross. And when they've had those chances for Quigley and Grant, they haven't been able to take them. As Luke Kroll bursts forward down that left hand side. Will it break Carney for Valanta inside the area? It does. He goes back to goal. Goes back to Luke. Dobson. Valanta shoots. Great goal! It's a save! I was about to say great goal, but it didn't go in because it's a fantastic save by Craig Ross.